the strongest form of learning takes place when you are learning something that you care about. I think we all know that. If you want to learn mathematics and you study mathematics, chances are you're going to learn some mathematics. If you want to learn to code in Python and you actually want to learn to code because you like it, chances are you're going to learn to code. Whereas if you're trying to force yourself to learn something that you, you don't really care about, it's gonna be extra hard. And, and this is just like a fact. This is a fact of life, I think, for all humans, you know? We tend to like what we're good at. And so when you like something, chances are you're gonna be good at it. And when you really want to learn something, even if it's hard, if you really want to learn it, you're gonna to start to like it, and then you're gonna get good at it. This email, or this video rather, is motivated by an email I received from a subscriber here on the channel. Very recent email. I received this uh, nine hours ago. And I wanted to make this short video to respond to this email because I think it's a really good question. And I think it can help a lot of people who are thinking about studying mathematics. I'll leave the person's name out of this email. The subject is, should I study calculus one, two, and linear algebra as an 11th grader? So this person is in 11th grade. And I'll read the message. And as always, if you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. Question, the email says, hey, math sorcerer, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to ask for your advice regarding some extra learning I'm considering outside of my class 11 curriculum. I'm planning to pursue a bachelor's in math and eventually specialize in areas like quantitative finance, trading, and ML. To build a strong foundation, I was thinking of studying calculus one and two, along with linear algebra, while I'm still in class 11. My reasoning is that calculus and linear algebra are the backbone of machine learning, optimization, and quantitative models for trading. Learning these early could give me a head start for university courses, research, and projects. Since you have more perspective on balancing depth versus timing, I'd love to know your opinion. <clears throat> As an 11th grader, should I start tackling these topics now or would it be better to pace myself differently? I've been watching your channel for the past year and I think you're the best person to run for advice. Thank you, love, smiley face. <clears throat> Getting over a cold, excuse me. So first let me say, thank you for this message. Um, I really appreciate it. And I do have a very, very good response, I think. So before I respond, let me just say, if you have a comment, you know, after the video is over, leave a comment, drop it in the comment section. It helps people who are reading the comments, people from all over the world. My advice is yes, definitely yes, for several reasons. So first of all, you are in 11th grade, my friend. You are so young. The world is yours. There, you, there is, I get goosebumps. You, you, you don't need, your, your, your life is just starting, okay? You, there, you have so much potential. I mean, the fact that you're even asking this question and you're in 11th grade, in 10 years, if, if you just continue the path, your life is gonna be amazing. I think it can be amazing. <clears throat> so yes, definitely yes. I would recommend that you start learning Calc 1 and 2 along with linear algebra. And the reason is many-fold. <laughs> so first, it's mathematics. You know, it, it can't hurt to learn more math, right? It cannot hurt. When you go to college to study quantitative finance, trading, and ML, you're gonna have to take some math. So any math that you learn now is going to give you a huge advantage over your classmates. You're going to feel like you are smarter than a lot of your classmates, and that is going to give you incredible self-confidence, which in turn is going to make you like math more, which as we talked about at the beginning of the video, people like what they're good at, and so it's just gonna snowball, and you're gonna just outperform, and you're gonna be awesome you're gonna have a great college experience. Okay, so absolutely you should start. Absolutely. Start learning Calc 1 and 2 along with linear algebra. I, I highly recommend that. Okay, I highly recommend that. Secondly, the fact that you are interested in learning math, the fact that you're even asking the question, it's almost like you really want to learn math, but you want to make sure that you're not wasting your time by doing it. Like, and that's why you're asking, right? You wanna know like, should I be learning something else? or should I focus on mathematics? Because you could just focus 
on quantitative finance, right? You could just do that and ML, but you need math, especially for, for both of those things, right? You need some programming too, but programming is easier to learn. Um, you, you need mathematics for these things. So I would say definitely focus on Calc 1 and 2 linear algebra. Th that's what holds people back. You know, people will, will study computer science or, you know, engineering. And a lot of times it's those math classes that give people the hard time. It's, it's math that's really the, the crutch, or not the crutch, the, um, the weed out class, or there's really no weed out classes, but what, what keeps people back is, is getting through those math classes. So you're trying to learn the hard stuff now. So absolutely start now, start now, and, and, and don't overdo it. Don't neglect your studies. So you're in 11th grade, so make sure you prioritize the stuff you have to learn in school, which I know might not be as fun. You might have to learn some stuff you don't care about. Um, that's part of life, you know, is doing stuff you don't want to do. It's, it's not fun. Um, so just make sure you focus on your school work and your grades. Um, you know, if you have friends and you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, whatever, you know, don't neglect them. You know, try to pace yourself, right? You're young, you have time. Any math you learn now, any calculus you learn now is huge because you're learning it now on your own, right? You're doing self-study, so it's going to stick with you. That's another reason you should do it, right? Self-study will give you incredible learning. So when you go to calculus class in college, you'll, you'll, you'll know stuff, you know, like, oh, I know what a derivative is, or I know what a limit is. You'll actually know stuff, okay? So absolutely start learning Calc 1 and Calc 2 linear algebra now, right now, along with what you're doing in school, so don't neglect it. And the best way to learn this would be to watch videos or get a book. I'd recommend books. There's plenty of good calculus books and linear algebra books out there. Um, I have some books, I'll talk about those, but get get like the Stewart book on calculus. I'll leave a link to that one in the description. Get like a used copy on Amazon if you can, or the Larson book. Get one of those, these are really big, thick calculus books. Um, they're gonna be tough for you to read and understand. So along with those books, I'd recommend some of my books. Uh, I've got uh, like Super Powered Calculus is a good, I've got it here somewhere. Uh, it's a good book to help you learn calculus. Yeah, I've got it here somewhere. I can't find it now. But yeah, Super Powered Calculus is one of my um, calculus books. Calculus Alpha is another one I have that can help you learn calculus. So I've got a bunch of calculus books. You can check the links in the description of this video. That's right here, it was on the top. <laughs> This one's pretty good because it has limits, derivatives, uh, and integrals. And it's cheap, it's inexpensive. You can get the ebook or the paperback to save money. Um, my books are good because they have full solutions to all the problems. So you can just like start doing calculus problems today. Whereas like the Stewart book is more of like a textbook. It's got everything. It's got way more content than my books. It's also more expensive, but it's also harder to read. So I would recommend getting both of those. Get the book by Stewart or the book by Larson. Get all my books if you want. Uh, all my books are workbooks, so they have full solutions to every problem. So you can just start learning math right away. As for linear algebra, I would recommend the book by Anton. That's a really, really good book on linear algebra. Or the book by Lay is also really good. You can get used copies on the internet. I'll leave links for those as well uh, for linear algebra. So that's my advice for books. A course would be incredibly helpful. Um, I've got courses, check those out. Links in the description or on my website, mathsorcerer.com. I've got courses on Calc 1 and 2, and they have assignments. They have homework assignments, and they're organized, and they're college-level courses, right? So, and there's no mistakes. And they actually have more material than what you'll probably see in your class, okay? So, because they, they have a lot of content. So you'll probably learn more in those courses than you'll learn taking a class in college. So when you go to college, you'll have, you'll have a huge leg up. So that's my advice for how to do it. Um, yeah, so good, my friend. You're in 11th grade. You are thinking about learning Calc 1, 2, and, and linear algebra. Just jump into it and just start. Just start. Stop thinking about it and just start. Do a little bit every day. Focus on your schoolwork, right? Your grades are important. You're in, you're in class 11 now. Uh, one more year, you'll be in 12th grade, and then it's college time, right? And you're just going to have such a huge advantage if you know some calculus and linear algebra. It's just going to make things a lot easier, you know? Yeah. I hope it's been helpful. If anyone else had advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. As always, stay strong.